<laughs> nice dancing. Not entirely sure what just happened, but you seemed cool. Thanks for warming up my audience with the dancing. Slight disclaimer for everybody who's saying that I'm late. Uh, I'm not late. I've been here for about 15 minutes. I just broke the website because too many of you guys are trying to go on it. So if you think I'm late, then you're wrong. <laughs> but then I'm, I'm like the Rihanna of you now. I can like turn up two hours late and it's okay because I'm cool. That was a joke. But uh, yeah, I have no idea why my head has been compressed. But um, yeah, I mean, if, if I turn sideways, am I like completely flat? Cool. This is a good look for me. Maybe I should try stretching myself. Uh, I had face elongation surgery, is what happened? Okay, right. Uh, <laughs> I'll let people know I'm here. Give me one second. Do, 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 do. Well, because I've been 10 minutes, I'm going to change the I am live in my tweet to caps lock, because I feel like it's important now. Okay. Da, da, da. Save the Tumblr post. Honk. There we go. And everybody knows I'm here. And the website's probably working. I so, how are we all? Are we all ready for some fun? And by fun, I mean arson. Yep, that's right. Uh, that's probably going to go horribly wrong. I'll save that for a minute. So, um, yeah, whilst we wait for everybody to trickle in, how are you guys? Uh, I feel like I've um, been gone for like 15,000 years from here. So what, what have I missed? What do you want to, what do you want to say hi? about first. How are you? That's what I usually say. To all the people that are just listening passively and not flailing uncontrollably in the chat, this is a good point to get involved, okay, unless you're watching me on an iPad, which no one is. So type just one word or two words how you're feeling right now. I always like to do a little survey on how everyone's doing. So three, two, one, go! How are you feeling, guys? My toe hurts, said Amelia. Forever sleepy, said Marta G. <laughs> James D's feeling swell. Good to know you're swell. Ida is feeling bukake. Okay, great. Um, Root said, I must poo. Thank you for letting several thousand people know that. Okay. Uh, Rosie's bored. Thank you for saying that in my live show. Majapi is grand. Good. <laughs> so he's feeling fiery. Excellent! An MBA wants to pee. If you if you desperately need some kind of toilet break, then just run. I'll try not to start the fireworks for the first five minutes whilst people flood in, especially from Tumblr. Because you've got to imagine the people that see my link on Tumblr, they'll just be scrolling, it'll be My Little Pony, Supernatural, Supernatural, Homestuck, Gay Porn, GIF, and blah blah. Oh, and then a link to Dan's live show, so we just need to wait for those people to click on it. Um, why am I sitting in front of the fire? Because I have fireworks and it's bonfire night. Uh, should I put the fire on? Okay, here we go. I don't really know how to put the fire on, so it's always a, a terrible idea when I do this. Okay. Uh, and then I think I just release and... Whoop! Yep, there we go. Flames that you can't see. I realise it's probably a very bad idea me to sit with my back to the fire, as then I will probably set on fire and die, uh, and then I won't be on fire in a, hey guys, I've got a million subscribers kind of way, I'll be on fire in a kind of, ow, all my flesh is falling off on webcam kind of way, so maybe I'll just, just sit slightly to the right now, okay, there we go, um, so yeah, let's get this thing cracking with the sparkler. I think so. I don't think these things are sparklers. What are they? So, if you don't know, it is bonfire night in the UK. Bonfire night is basically where British people celebrate when a terrorist tried to blow up the government and then we burned him alive. Which sounds a bit weird that every single year we celebrate someone's horrible, painful death to uphold the government. Because no one likes the government. It's not cool to like the government. But we do, okay. So it's basically our 4th of July in November, which is what we have in between Halloween and Christmas, like you have Thanksgiving. Although this is way too soon, I feel like one fine night should be in the middle of November. It was a very bad time with Guy Fawkes to do that right after another holiday. So uh, I've got this baking tray, because it says on the back, um, 
amazing Phil always tells me that if I'm going to use these, I, sh I basically shouldn't because I'm definitely going to set fire to everything. But you need a non-flammable surface. So I've got a little baking tray here. Um, now I'm just going to... I should... Okay, right. I've got a lighter here, and then I've got a fire. What should I light? I, I feel like it would be cooler to light it with the fire, but then I feel like something's probably going to go horribly wrong, and then my arm's going to set on fire, and then the house is going to set... It's basically going to be Fire of London 2, the Fire of London, the sequel, and it will be my fault. Lighter. Everyone's telling me lighter. Okay. People seem to be genuinely concerned for my health. Okay. So uh, if that's how you feel. It says here that this is not a sparkler to hold. What does it say? <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, yeah, this is not a sparkler. This is Ignite on the Striking Surface. Striking Surface. You're supposed to use a match, but I'm using a lighter. So already the range is not in my favor. Ooh. Look. Look, something is sparking. Wow. How exciting. It's lighting. Cool. It's just like a tiny fire in a tin. Well, that was shit. Look at that. Look, what, what, what's that tiny little beige stain there? Okay, let's go for another one. What else do we have here? We have Flash Gordon. Okay, that sounds exciting. Remember, kids, I am a trained professional. Um, okay, so I've got this uh, little match here. Is that... What the fuck is that? That's... Okay, I'm not going to touch that. I think that's a wire. Right. Let's go for our second thing of the day, which is a Flash Gordon. Right. <laughs> wow. Oh, green flashes. How ex Whoa. That's like a 2 out of 10 coolness. Wow. It's doing something. This is actually kind of cool, I think. Wow, that's, uh... Yeah. I should probably close the door, otherwise the fire alarm's going to go off. Uh, I'll do that after this one. What does it say that describes this one? Um, place a non plumbable surface. Do not inhale smoke. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm probably going to die at some point in the next hour, then, because I, I've definitely been... Breathing. You get a lot of a lot of green light out of this thing that takes like five seconds to. Oh, this is. A, do you see the smoke rings? Holy crap! Do you see them? You don't, do you? The smoke rings. Wow. Wow. Cool. Um. Oh, I really want this to end. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put that down, just there. So uh, how how are we stop stop? Oh God, this is. I'm, I'm I really I'm over this now. Still going. Okay, I brought a, a little glass of water, so I'm just going to fuck the fuck up. There, yeah! Woo! Firework! That was probably a terrible idea. Okay, so I brought this glass of water with me, just in case something went horribly wrong. It now occurs to me, these are chemicals. So throwing water on a strange chemical is probably just as likely to put out the fire as it is to create a giant explosion that instantly kills me. So, um, yeah, that's cool. I'm just going to close the door one sec. Okay. So, uh, can you hear the uh, the booming of fireworks in the London distance? It's very festive, isn't it? So, yeah, we're going to come back to the fireworks, but there's little intermissions between the things we do. So, what do you want to know, guys? I think it's been two weeks since we last sat down and hung out. So, what do you want to discuss? The Teen Awards? So, holy crap, that was a thing that happened. On Sunday, <laughs> basically, if you're American, it's the Teen Choice Awards of England, and if you're not, then it's basically uh, a big uh, awards ceremony. And it was cool, because me and Phil, me compadre, got to be the official backstage presentary people for it, which sounds kind of corporate, but it was awesome. So imagine... 
we're at this Radio 1 event with One Direction and Taylor Swift and all these people. Last year, me and Phil were not important at all. We were basically like the, the loseriest people there. So everyone had lots of time to make videos with all these pop stars. But me and Phil were just doing stuff for their YouTube channel. So we were officially like the lamest people there. <laughs> and we had to interview One Direction in a corridor next to a toilet. And it was the worst, okay? So we basically, we were given like 10 minutes was what we were told we had. 10 minutes with them. But because they were late doing the interview we had before, me and Phil had four minutes to interview One Direction. And that was, okay, so I wasn't emotionally prepared for this, as you know, I'm a big One Direction fan myself. Yep. Um, but it was, the videos were quite good, but it was a horrific experience because we were in a, a little court. We were just basically literally next to a toilet. But this year, we had like a corner of the green room where we had sofas and light cubes and it was amazing. So this time, we were part of the actual like TV broadcast of it. So they had Nick Grimshaw and Rita Ora, who's this, um, she's like the Rihanna of the UK. If you don't know who Rita Ora is, she's cool and they were hosting it. And they'd be like, now let's go back to Dan and Phil in the green room. And then we were there with sofas and it was awesome. So we got to make videos with Little Mix, who were nice as always, um, Fall Out Boy, who <laughs> were like, Mine and Phil's best friends at this point. It's cool. Uh, Charlotte from The Geordie Shore and Celebrity Big Brother. I don't know if you guys watch The Geordie Shore, but she, she was so funny. She was like the best person I've ever met. And Taylor Swift. So, yeah, last Sunday, I met Taylor Swift, which was emotional because, you know, there's lots of famous people and pop stars, but the thing is with someone like Taylor Swift is they're just so insanely famous, like Taylor Swift. And... She was awesome. I mean, uh, people obviously are slightly mean to her on the internet sometimes because they're like, ha, 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 breakup songs, hate Taylor Swift, hashtag lol. But um, she was really nice. She was super cool. And basically, we had to draw each other blindfolded. So that was really awesome. And she's like the same height as me, which is weird because when uh, people from the internet bump into me in real life, they're like, Wow, Dan, you're taller than I thought you'd be. And I'm like, oh, that's because you don't see the legs on the internet. I just look like a floating torso, like I do now. But Taylor Swift is like the same height as me. She's like six foot something. Uh, but no, she was, she was really, really cool. And if you want to watch the video of it, then just search like Dan and Phil Taylor Swift on YouTube. But I took the drawing that she did of me home, and I'm like going to frame it and put it next to my bed. So that's going to be awesome. And apparently I almost sharpied on her dress because I was holding a Sharpie when I was drawing, and then she gave me a hug, I know, dying inside, uh, to say, sorry that you lost. Uh, and when I put my arm around her, I had a Sharpie in my hand, and apparently everyone in the YouTube comments was like, Dan, you came this close to Sharpieing on Taylor Swift's five million pound dress. So that would have been the worst <laughs> if I did that, but I didn't, it was very close. It was very, very close, okay. Uh, but no, she was really nice, and uh, Fall Out Boy are also the coolest people in the world. They actually came early to mine and Phil's little uh, corner room because they wanted to say hi to us. That's how nice Fall Out Boy are. And I watched uh, Phil and Pete Wentz have a 10 minute conversation about manatees, which was quite interesting. And we made Patrick Stump look really, really stupid by balancing a cookie on his head, which kind of felt bad for, but it was pretty funny. And we made uh, Perry from Little Mix eat gross jelly beans, which I also feel kind of bad for. Um, because I'm sure Perry probably didn't want to eat a baby wipe flavored jelly beans, but that happened. So yeah, that was, that was really cool and awesome, and it was incredibly fun. And then um, the other big event of the night was that for the first time ever, the BBC made a Best British Vlogger Award. So, you know, finally, guys, it's, it's another human rights movement. We've reached the point in history where YouTubers are considered as award-worthy as musicians and actors and sports heroes, finally. So yeah, there was a, uh, <laughs> a Best British Vlogger Award, and it went to Zoe, who I was really happy about, because obviously she's the loveliest person in the entire world. But it was really cool, because um, we... I Last year, everyone always says that the Radio Antino Awards is like the scariest thing in the world, because it's like the most screaming people in the entire universe. And last year, you could just hear the rumbling. It's like when One Direction went on stage, the screaming was so loud from all the One Direction fans. I was terrified. 
the, the roof literally shook. And I was like, oh God. It was kind of the same in Fall Out I went on this year, because I think there were a lot of people in the audience that were like, okay, yeah, pop stars, but we, want to, we kind of want to see a band come on and play something with actual instruments. Then when Fall Out Boy came on, it was like, ah! So, um, yeah, I got to go on stage and present that, of course, with the Vamps. But that was, it was so funny. It was so, the screaming was so loud that uh, I couldn't even hear my own voice, but it was, it was really funny. Um, so yeah, that was a generally really good day. And if you want to see the videos we did with either Taylor Swift or Fall Out Boy, then just go on YouTube and search like Dan and Phil, Taylor Swift, or just Dan and Phil Teen Awards and you'll find them all. So yeah, that was, um, that's one thing. Do you reckon it's time for another firework? I think it is. Okay, so, um. What have we got here? We've got Sizzling Strobes, or Snakes Alive, or Disco Inferno. What are you feeling, guys? Sizzling Robes, Snakes Alive, Disco Inferno. <laughs> what are you in the mood for? Disco Inferno. Everyone's saying Disco Inferno. Okay. As if it could be anything other than Disco Inferno. Right, okay, so I've got my, uh, my tray of joy here, which is at an awkwardly and incredibly unsafe angle. Let's set it on fire! Right. <laughs> okay, so it's, uh... Woo! Okay, so that's... That's just... That's just there. So, whoa! So that, guys, is like the same as the last one, but in the shape of a circle. Oh my god. So, yep, that is, um... Again, just flashing some colours, but it's in a circle this time. So, yep, that's that's exciting. Gotta love indoor fireworks. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so, yeah, what do you want to know? Uh, oh, Lena M said Spotify update. Do you guys want to know what I've been up to in that? Wow, that's left a kind of cool blue crater. In the thing, do you see it there? It's, got like, it's like a little a mold pile. Yeah, okay. Yes, said Jordan and Chloe, and a lot of people. It's there's like bits of horrible poisonous chemicals in the air. Now that's cool. Okay, right. So let's go to Spotify. If you don't know, this is a thing that I do in my live shows where I basically just tell you guys what I've been listening to recently. Let's find out. Okay. Um, apparently. The art, okay, guess, what album slash artist slash song have I been listening to a lot recently? Do you think, do, 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 Andre Ryu, no. Katy Perry, no. Muse, no. Panic at the Disco, no. I'm just going to wait for someone to say it. Art Pop, is Art Pop out? Is Art Pop out? If so, I'm so behind. Uh, One Direction, yeah, I'm waiting for someone to... Suggest the correct thing, K-pop, no, although I was listening to a lot of Girls' Generation after they won that YouTube Music Award. Um, yeah, that's another thing. Got so many things that have happened in my life. Has anyone said it yet? I'm just going to sit here and wait. No, you're all wrong. Come on, a band that has released an album recently. Let's see if any of you get it. It's not One Republic. It's not Arctic Monkeys. That was a couple weeks ago. <laughs> wow, I'm just, someone's probably already said it, but I'm just not seeing it. No, not Lord. Has Lord's album come out? There's so many albums I need to get. Da, da, da. Arcade Fire. Yes, Elise M. The album I have been listening to the most is Arcade Fire Reflector. If you don't know who Arcade Fire are, and you like kind of indie music, um, then you should check out Arcade Fire, because they are incredibly awesome. They're really good. So I've been listening to Arcade Fire's album a lot. I've also been watching a lot of uh, things. So, okay, let, I'm, I'm going to make a list of albums I need to download. So I need to download Lord's album. And when I say download, I mean buy it on iTunes. <laughs> uh, Art Pop is coming out soon. Okay. And Arcade Fire. Right. So, uh, yeah, to all the people that have joined since the start of the show, hi, welcome to my live shows. My live shows, if you're new here and you're wondering what the hell's happening, um, they're basically just supposed to be hanging out, because I do, obviously, YouTube videos and radio shows and big crazy things that I put a lot of time into, but then these live shows are just supposed to be total informal 
hanging outness. So if you're complaining that there's no unicycles and explosions, then you go watch one of my. Well, what am I saying? Explosions. I've got explosions up the wazoo today. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Uh, so, did any of you guys watch the YouTube Music Awards that were on uh, on Sunday night? Because I was um, in that a bit as well. A lot of people were kind of confused that I seemed to be at the Teen Awards all day and then in the YouTube Music Awards that evening. The YouTube Music Awards, uh, if you didn't watch it, it was basically just an awards show about music, but on YouTube, but they tried to make it all cool and creative and stuff, and it kind of was. But before the show started, they basically just had like an hour of videos that played and stuff like that, um, which I was in. But that was all filmed in London, and it was filmed on Friday. So I was I did not have one of Hermione's time turning machines or a clone, and I was not immortal. Uh, all those things with the YouTubers were filmed on Friday. Uh, but yeah, that was cool. I know uh, it seemed like. The presenting was really weird with Reggie Watts and Jason Smalls. It's the, the whole YouTube Awards. It was the whole. It was really. I mean, it was good and it was really creative, and I liked it. And they were trying to be really anti-typical awards show. Uh, it was quite strange, but I liked some of the things. Uh, yeah, thoughts. And no, I didn't have any Horcruxes, though I should have some Hawk Horcruxes. The presenting was kind of stiff, said somebody. I think that's just what Jason Schwartzman's like. He's kind of an awkward guy, but I think... Because uh, if you didn't know, the YouTube Music Awards was produced by Vice, who are a magazine, who are like totally edgy and super cool, so it was very, very Vice. <laughs> right, I'm going to go for a sizzling strobe now, okay? And the picture is a bunch of people at a rave. So, I'm guessing... Uh, based on what we've experienced, I'm uh, sorry, I'm going to stop touching my hair, based on what we've experienced so far, that this is again going to be some flashing colours in the shape of a triangle. Let's see what happens. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. And it's not lighting, so it's going to explode in my face. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Sizzling strobes. I get it, because it's like slightly faster than the other one, so it's like... Yeah, man. Strobes. Check this out. Woo! It's crazy up in here. This is really sad, because I'm just... Uh, I'm sat inside by myself. Alone in an apartment. Inhaling toxic fumes. I mean, I, I'm, I am breathing this in. I'm, I can't not breathe, so I'm probably got ten kinds of cancer right now, but that's, it's too late. It's too late, but it's worth it for you guys. These are so crap, aren't they? Wow. Okay. Um. <laughs> right. Uh, cool. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I could be out watching the fireworks. Everyone seems to be having bonfire parties in their gardens. I keep hearing the booms of fireworks in London. But I am inside by myself. So in case you were wondering if me claiming that I had no social life was just an act for the internet and me trying to be funny, no, it is in fact true. I, I have no social life whatsoever. So yeah, let's, uh, let's put this down until the next interlude. Yeah! <laughs> so, Morgan W said, Dan, you need to wax your legs. I do indeed. If you didn't miss it, a couple of weeks ago I promised a video would be on a Friday or else I'd make a video where I wax a leg. And um, that's happening. I've, I've emailed my female YouTube friends and we're going to get together and make some videos. And one of those is going to be me in a lot of pain. So do not worry if you're looking forward to me suffering lots of pain having my legs waxed by a lady, then that is, that's happening. Look forward to that at some point. I don't know when it's going to happen, because uh, I have to wait for my friends to... Look, it's, it's reflecting a, a little... Wow, look at that, look at that. So look at that, look at that. What's that, what's that, what's that, what's that, what's that? I don't know. Cool. What is that? Do you see what I'm on about, the green thing? What the booze? Okay, I'm going to try to... There we go. And it's like a forehead jewel. There we go. Look, I have green eyes. Ha ha ha. I'm entertaining myself with fire. Okay. Right, I'm 
I'm a 12-year-old boy with the attention span of a Labrador, clearly, but this is kind of cool and weird. Right, um, so what else has happened in my life? I went to the premiere of Thor 2, which is freaking awesome. So um, there's this lady that works at Disney that is really, really nice. and she um, Disney are a cool company because they don't ask YouTubers to sell out when they invite them to stuff. They're kind of just like, we like inviting people to see movies if they really, really like the movies. We don't ask them to do anything. We just want them to have a good time. And I'm like, okay. Um, but yeah, as this girl from Disney knows that I'm a massive nerd, who loves the Marvel films, <laughs> me and uh, my friends Phil and Briny got invited to the Thor 2 premiere, which was super awesome. So it was in Leicester Square, and they had a giant hammer, which was cool. And it was kind of funny because, like, as soon as everyone got on the red carpet, it started torrentially raining. So imagine all of these celebrities, all of these, like, beautiful film actresses wearing five million pound dresses and all these, like, celebrities that just went to a... Uh, you have their photo because you know there's a lot of people that kind of go to events like this just to get their photos taken like myling class or whatever like oh wow look at me i'm in the vogue let's dress section it's like raining it was so funny because there were a bunch of people that were like damn damn come take a selfie with me and i was like you have an umbrella so me and you we're going to be best friends for like five minutes so i was just <laughs> i was stood next to one of you guys under her umbrella like well, this is kind of funny, uh, watching all of these girls like running around screaming because they were getting wet, so that was kind of funny. And yeah, then I, I took a selfie with Tom Hiddleston in the background and made myself look like a total prat, but it, it was a joke. So uh, I don't know if you guys saw my, my, my selfie with Tom Hiddleston, but it was, it was kind of funny. Even if I did make myself look like a, a total twat, I was just trying to be funny. Why are all the dresses five million pounds these days? I don't know, man, these, these fancy actresses. So, yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Are you finally doing collabs, OMG? I know. Uh, like, I'm as antisocial on YouTube as I am in real life, I've started to realize, and that's bad. Like, YouTubers collaborate, especially the vloggers, because all of the people, especially all the British vloggers, they're all friends. We're all friends in real life. We all know each other, because it's like, like you have friends at school and you have friends at work. Like, if you worked at a a vet clinic or a vacuum building factory. You're going to have work friends, so YouTubers are friends with other YouTubers. But I don't, I don't make videos with anyone because I'm really antisocial. So I'm going to, I'm going to start making more videos with my friends because like, people always text me and they're like, Dan, when can we hang out? And I'm like, oh, I, I, what happens is I see the notification on my phone and I'm like, yes, I am going to reply to that in five minutes and then I put down my phone and then I play Pokemon for 20 hours and then I come back and my friend's like Dan is not on fire hates me because he didn't respond to my text and I'm like oh god oh dear um, so that's awkward but yeah cool <laughs> Should we? okay let's, let's see what's left we have got uh, the snakes alive is the Snakes Alive the really cool one? Do you do you guys remember? Do you guys remember? Okay. Um, if you guys have seen this before, because me and Phil have I've done these before, I think this is an extremely weird one here. So if you if you're new to the world of indoor fireworks, this one is called Snakes Alive, and it's really freaking weird. Are you ready to see it? Okay. Uh, so where should I put it for? Maximum WTF is happening. -ness. Okay, so there we go. Is that going to do it? Nope. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it's like magma. Do you see it? What? what? Oh my god, that one. Tiny silver circle is multi. What the? Oh my god! It's opened an interdimensional vortex, and a tentacle from hell is coming out of the vortex. What? Look, physics is breaking. What? what? <laughs> that is freaking spectacular. Look! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> That's amazing! Oh my god! <laughs> cool. Science is fun, kids. Pay attention in chemistry class.
Awesome. Okay, I'm, I'm doing another one of those right now. Look at that. That's so cool. Okay, this is, this is like Mythbusters or some children's TV show about science or something. But let, let's keep it up. Okay. Oh, I blew it over. Uh, <laughs> I just totally ashed all over my MacBook Pro. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Sweep. Sweep the tentacle into the thing. Okay. So there we go. I'm just going to lightly tap that down. I want to see that again. Are you kidding me? Okay. So we've got our little thing here covered in all the, the stains of previous things. Okay. What do I look like when I'm setting fire to stuff? Do I have a really stupid face? Oh, has that done it? Nope. Needs more fire. Okay. Remember, kids, I am a trained professional and a responsible adult who totally knows what I'm doing, so don't try this at home because I'm responsible. Okay, right. Uh, let's see. I'm so scared. I should have matches. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm totally. You can't see the carnage of what happened when I accidentally just like breathed over the last one that I did. Oh, oh, oh! This one's being stubborn. Remember, kids, if you set fire to a firework and it doesn't set on fire, don't try to relight it because it will probably explode in your face. Okay, remember that. It's a very, very important lesson. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to do it by range. What is this? Is this a, a wire? I don't know. I'm going to try setting fire to it. Which is also something you shouldn't do. Do, 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 do. So I want to talk to you guys about Pokemon, which is another thing. Oh, here we go. Are you ready? Oh. Oh. It's coming out of an interdimensional vortex. Where's it coming from? What the hell is it made of? Who knows? Wow, this is so exciting. Spectacular. Okay, that is that is a beautiful shape. Wow. So, uh, yeah, I, I want to show you what happens when I prod it. So, there, there you get close, and then, poof, and then I'll try to pick it up, and it will just crumble between my fingers. There we go. Like that. Oh, oh, okay. So, I have no idea what this is, but it's probably highly carcinogenic. Okay, wonderful. So, uh, that was the tour of my indoor fireworks. There is one left. But, I kind of almost definitely don't want to light it. It is a, uh, what's it called? Do, do, do. Chuck the other part. It's an ice fountain. Okay, it's, it's this. Uh, this one looks dramatically larger than the other ones. Um, and it also says that you should cement it in a non-flammable solid surface, like a pile of sand, and uh, keep it away from your face. So I don't know how I'm going to do that, because I just I just have a tray. So should I, should I go find something to stick it in? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to let you come on my, my tour of the room as I get up and look around. Hey there, do you see my noodle pot that I had for dinner? Okay, what could I stick this in? Let's go on a little quest. Could I stick it inside a candle? Oh, amazing. This situation has solved itself. Okay, waxy candle. Meet your... Okay, I'm just going to penetrate it like that. That's in, isn't it? Okay. Uh, <laughs> right. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to put this here. And then I'm going to tilt that down. Okay. Right, so uh, I'm not entirely sure how you do this. Uh, I guess I should also double it up and put that inside the thing that's already not flammable. Okay. And, 
Oh, there was a French girl in the chat that wanted me to explain what bonfire night is again. So if you're not from England and you missed the start of the chat and um, show and you're wondering what's happening, 5th of November in the UK is bonfire night where everyone in England basically has fireworks like New Year's Day or the 4th of July to celebrate a terrorist who tried to blow up the government but failed and we then burned him alive. Uh, so it's kind of macabre because it's called bonfire night because you're supposed to have fireworks and then a bonfire which is you know just like a giant fire from wood that you get and put at the bottom of your garden which is always terrible because <laughs> people always set fire to the houses with bonfires but um, yeah and then you're supposed to like you're supposed to make a guy forks so like a scarecrow and then put it on the bonfire I would never, like, with my future family, make a person out of stuff and then burn them on a giant... Like, that just seems kind of weird. Okay, but yeah, that's, that's the tradition. So that's when we do the stuff. And people are telling me to move the cushion. So I'm going to move the bloody pillow. And also, my max power cable. There we go. Safety with Dan. Uh, I'm guessing you just light the top. I kind of have no idea what it say. Uh, instructions, insert fountain in soft ground, non-flammable material, blah, 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 set on fire. Okay, so uh, let's uh, make it as straight up and erect as possible, and then... Ooh, woo! <laughs> hey, now that is a firework. Look, at, Im imagine if I was just holding that in my hand. <laughs> wow. Guys, I feel really festive right now. There we go. That was a uh, that was magical. That was cool. Okay, maybe I can I can stick this in here and then like this. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then I can deposit that in there. No, I can't. Okay. Why am I singing spider pig? I don't know. I'm just using the remaining fireworks. Taz Kazoo. Wow. Dramatic. There we go. There we go. That was a, a beautiful end to our fireworks journey. <laughs> that was fun. Let's do that next year. Maybe, I don't know, maybe next year I can have an actual fireworks night and put it on webcam or something for you. Uh, but maybe just, just for the beauty of the situation from this camera angle, I can show you guys the, the snake of a... I have stuff to talk about because I'm guessing you guys want to know about like when my next video is coming out and you want to have interesting inspirational discussions about stuff. We can, we can do that for the other 20 minutes. Okay, let's just let's set more things on fire first. Okay, um, so I'm going to move my candle, which I've now totally destroyed, out of the way. And I can do that. And then, so th this is so awkward to set on fire, these things. Like, seriously. Um, oh, and the Twitter headers. Yeah, that's another thing. Remind me of all these things I want to talk about. But I have nothing to light it with. Okay, so I, I might just... Uh, Take all the remaining fireworks and then like put them on each other and see what happens. So I'll I'll do this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, now can I set fire to that? Right. Oops! <laughs> Did you see that? I got to blow out my candle and I just ashed everywhere. How exciting. It's a triple... Oh, oh, and you see it trying to sneak out there. Do you see it? The little wormy thing trying to escape out of the side. It's like, why have you buried me under my friends? Here we go. Oh, it's coming out. Indoor fireworks, ladies and gentlemen. So exciting. Interdimensional space worm, how does it work? Nobody knows. Do 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 do. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. 
There we go. Beautiful. I'll just uh, I'll let those other two anticlimactically fizz out for another 20 minutes as they were done before. <sighs> so, yeah. Cool. Uh, did you guys see the, the smoke rings? Just you see that right there? Let's, let's see if you can catch another smoke ring if it poops out. No? Okay. I'll just let that... Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, bye. I'll... Oh, I set fire to the one that doesn't end again. Okay. Uh, awkward. Okay, I'm going to get the glass of water again. Dude! Stop! Okay, 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 okay. Die, 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 die. There we go. <sighs> and there was peace. There we have it. Did I say the C word? Why is everyone telling me I said the C word? Uh... Okay, cool beans. So now that we've uh, celebrated Fireworks Day in the most exciting way possible, what would you like to discuss? <laughs> Twitter headers. So yeah, um, it's been a thing for quite a while, but I've never had a Twitter header. I don't know why, since I came out I was like, I guess when I make a Twitter header, it needs to have like the links to my other websites on it or something, because I'm supposed to be an internet person and I'm not doing my job right unless I do it properly. So I kind of just procrastinated making my own header for several, several months. And then the other night I was just like, why don't I just get people to make me headers and then send them to me? So uh, I asked people to make me headers, uh, so not just take a funny picture from the internet, but to make it something funny and Dan related, and to tweet it with the hashtag header for Dan. And from now on, I'm going to just search that hashtag and replace my header. People are asking me to open the window. Okay. Uh, I like how you guys have got my best interest in mind here, because I'm just going to choke to death in all these fumes, but you're like, Dan, open the window. Okay. There we go. Escape, deadly fumes. Get out of my face. So, yeah, um, if you feel like getting creative and you want to have a chance at making me a header for Twitter, then if you just tweet the photo with the hashtag header for Dan whenever I feel like I want a new one or I've run out of the ones that I've already saved, then I'm just going to search the hashtag and download some. So that's not a thing that needs to happen right now, but I'm just using the hashtag as a way to search through something. So that's headers for Dan. If not, you can just enjoy the creativity of each other. At the moment, I've got one of Delia Smith looking really grumpy, pinching me between her little fingers, which is kind of funny and a bit disturbing. So, yeah, that's that's cool. Did you dress up for Halloween? Halloween, I had a Halloween special radio show where I was uh, a vampire, a dan if you will, and I was in a few Halloween videos. And basically, I had a few people round my house, and we watched Scream, the horror movie, and uh, we drank every time something incredibly 90s happens. But remember, kids, don't drink because alcohol is evil and you should all go join convents and be nuns. Was it scary? Scream isn't really a scary movie. It's kind of... If you haven't seen Scream, it's a great movie. Uh, and it is a, it's a really good example of what life was like if you were a teenager in the 90s. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's cool. So, Scream, it's really funny and good. Ba, 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 ba. What anime are you into? Uh, what have I started watching recently? Darker Than Black? That's the one. Um, I watched the the uh, credits for that swimming anime because someone... I, I think there's this, uh, there's this program that people can make that... I don't, you guys probably wouldn't have heard of it, but there's this, um, there's this computer program that I guess they can uh, make dance moves, well, dance routines to various songs, and you can design your own characters and then put them in these like music videos where the characters that you've designed do the dances that other people have programmed and someone, that's it called, it's for MMD is what it's called and uh, so someone recreated the intro to uh, this anime called Free using this program and it was really funny so uh, so all the people out there making Dan is Not On Fire MMDs I, I see most of them and they're really funny so yep, <laughs> cool um, Dan, when are you making a new video? I'm filming it tomorrow. Uh, I, I'm not going to tell you what it is, because spoilers, but I am, I'm filming my new video tomorrow. So, 
Do 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 do. Super fun. Dan, did you like the winner of the Great British Break Off? I did indeed. Yeah, totally. I, I was very happy with the winner of the Great British Break Off. I've already forgotten the girl's name that was really sad looking all the time, but um, <laughs> she needs to be less sad looking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Phil is not on 5.5. Five. Uh, Dan wants to, I mean, Phil wants to film it sometime soon, I hear, because he promised it for some point. Uh, Ruby, Ruby. There was a girl called Ruby in Great British Bake Off, and I just wanted her to smile more because she was really nice, but she took everything very seriously and seemed a bit grumpy. Apparently, she was, like, doing her university course at the same time as being in a reality show about baking, so I can imagine that's incredibly stressful. But, uh, Ruby, uh, I, I, I liked her and I, I wanted to see her smile. Pokemon, said Michelle B. Yeah, Pokemon. So, um, if you guys don't know, I'm a big Pokemon fan, and when I say that, I don't just mean, well, yeah, total gamer nerd, hashtag 90s. I mean, like, I, I freaking, I watched many seasons of the Pokemon anime and I played every game. So I got Pokemon X the other week. Sorry if you're not a nerd, you're going to hate this. But um, I've, I've already played it for something like 40 hours or ridiculous. I've done the Elite Four <laughs> already. So uh, I'll, I'll show you the party that I did the Elite Four with. It was uh, Blaziken, Chesnaught, Blastoise, Talonflame, uh, Tyrantrum, and Lucario. Which sounds kind of boring, but I feel like it's the party the game wanted you to have. Why are people saying, where's Anthony? Anthony Padilla, he's in Los Angeles, in his house, I've no idea. Uh, yeah, so, cool. Those are my Pokemon. Uh, I have a level 94 Blaziken. Oh dear, I don't have a life. So, yeah, that's... That's cool, and if any of you guys want to send me a shiny high dragon, then just send me an email. That, that's cool. Uh, I don't actually read my email, so don't send me an email ever about anything. But, yep, <laughs> Pokemon, that's cool. I'm kind of, because uh, Pokemon is a thing that's like, it's designed for five-year-olds, because it's Pokemon, and it's so stupid, and the storyline's always really lame, and it's about nothing, and it can't ever be edgy or offensive in any way, because it's Pokemon, it's meant for nine-year-olds. But the multiplayer... It's so ridiculously complicated. It's so ridiculously... It's like if you buy Halo, you can play the story for like 10 hours, and then you just jump into multiplayer and you shoot some people. Pokemon, you spend 50 hours doing the story, but then you want to go online and fight some people? Don't. You don't even try, because you suck, okay? It's like... <laughs> it's so hard, but I, I'm going to try and make a party that will have Gengar and Aegislash and Noibat and some people in it, so yeah, that's cool, that's uh, Pokemon, I have no life, and I'm a massive nerd, nothing new there, oh, I got X as well, so I got Xerneas, who's super cool, boop, boop, boop. did you watch Glee's Cory Monteith episode, I did, I didn't think it was that good, I don't know why, I mean, I don't know what I expected, because, I mean, you know, the whole thing with Cory Monteith, obviously incredibly, incredibly sad, and that, like, the whole idea of them doing the show, is, you know, it's, it's kind of like, what are they going to do when their actor is dead? But it was kind of like, it, obviously it couldn't have just been an hour of everybody breaking down, crying. And there were a couple scenes, like there was one with uh, Kurt's dad and Finn's mum. That was like the saddest thing I've ever seen. And um, Mr. Shoe's bit towards the end was sad. And it was very, it was very sad. But it was weird seeing Rachel Berry in it. I don't know why, it's just knowing that, you know, because obviously what happened to Leah Michelle is one of the saddest things in the entire world, IRL. But I'm, I'm not going to spoil it. But it, it, was, it was good. It was just, it was uncomfortable, is all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, but yeah, American Horror Story is still excellent. I feel like the director is overusing fisheye lens and sweeping camera angles. As uh, I watched the last episode with a couple friends, and most of them wanted to puke because uh, the camera angles were so crazy, but it's, I just, I love American Horror Story. Oh, God, it's so fun and awesome and amazing. So, if you aren't afraid of violence, if you're somebody that maybe likes True Blood or Vampire Diaries or Teen Wolf, you'll probably really, really like American Horror Story, so I recommend that, because it's just the best 
Uh, Dan, have you seen Nerd Cubes? Yes, I watch his videos sometimes. Um, the Forever Train. Yeah, so my pal Kick the PJ um, made um, a really cool video in Pinewood Studios called The Forever Train, where I played a newspaper, <laughs> uh, and it was quite. It was really cool to film. So I, I'm very, I'm very happy that it looked as cool as PJ wanted it to. It did look super cool. Um, have you had any toffee apples yet? Toffee apples suck, man. Like, who likes toffee apples? I don't know if you've ever had a toffee apple, but they're just not that nice. They're really, really hard and sticky. And the thing is with that kind of toffee is you, you bite into them, and then it just kind of sticks to your teeth. Like, the toffee just kind of folds like uh, the thing that they put in your mouth when you're getting braces fitted, and they just kind of stick there. And then it's like, okay. And then it's like apple underneath, and it's like, oh, wow, I, I could have just uh, had something nice right now, but instead I'm like, it. So, um, yeah, toffee apples, thumbs down from Dan. First world problem, said Joe. Indeed. <laughs> Was Ollie Sykes nice? Uh, I've met Ollie a couple times, and he's, yeah, he's a super chill dude. Thumbs up for Ollie Sykes. Are you seeing the Muse film, Dan? Maybe. What made you choose Torchic? A Nintendo event. They gave everybody a free Torchic. Where's Phil? He's in Manchester. Uh, Sword Art Online. No. Do you still like Panic at the Disco? Yeah. I like their new album more than their last album. Uh, MTV EMAs 2013. Is that happening? I never watched the EMAs. I don't know why. I only ever watched the VMAs, which is weird. Um, do, 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 do you smoke? No. Can you gleek? No. Why is he in Manchester? Dunno. Do, 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 do. How's the exercise going? Better. <laughs> so, I, I, I bet you guys are wondering, it's like at the start of the year I said that I was going to see a personal trainer, and I, I did for like a while, but then I got so like um, busy around March, because I was like in New York, and then I was doing comedy week, and there was all this crazy shit happening. But now my life is a bit more normal, so I'm actually exercising again. So uh, you, you can tell if you watch my videos, I kind of got like a bit fat towards June because I basically I just stopped exercising because I was so busy, and then I just, <laughs> but then that's, I'm always like, uh, ew. so yeah, cool beans. What do you smell of? Um, horrible chemicals that have been imbued into my jumper. You know when you've been to a fireworks show or a bonfire and then you come back smelling of smoke? That's how my house is going to smell for about a month now. Do, 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 do you like Walking Dead? Yeah, I've been watching the new Walking Dead and it's it's good. I'm enjoying it highly. Rita Ora spoke to you. E yeah, uh, I met Rita Ora and she was also so nice. Oh god, she was awesome. Because I, I didn't, obviously I hadn't really heard anything about Rita or I hadn't met her before. But then she was like, hey Dan and Phil, oh my god, it's so nice to meet you. You're doing a really awesome job today. And I was like, wow, Rita Ora, you are a really lovely human. Do you like Doctor Who? I do like Doctor Who, yes. <laughs> this, is, this is just going to steadily sink into, come to Brazil. Do you like Of Mice and Men? Have you read The Fault in Our Stars? Favourite 6th gen Pokemon? Uh, Age of Slash, maybe. I like it a lot. There's a lot of really cool ones. I like Nui Bat, and I caught Zygarde, or Zygarde, the other day, and I was like, cool. What do you think about vegetarians? Uh, I don't discriminate against them. You can be a vegetarian if you wish, and that's totally cool. <laughs> that's what I think about vegetarians. Um, Attack on Titan. Yeah, when's that coming back? I'm so sad. I miss it. It's out of my life. Isn't it coming back like 2015 or something? Absolutely horrific. Uh, 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 uh. How many YouTubers have you met? Most of them, to be honest, through Summer in the City and Playlist Live and VidCon. I've met pretty much every YouTuber that you know, I'm guessing. How's the existential crisis coming along? Good, thank you. I think after I made the video, it was like I was closing a, closing, closing the book on that and slowly trying to sort my life out, because uh, this whole year for me has been very kind of busy. I wanted 2013 to be a year where I start the rest of my life, but then it ended up being a year where I was so busy that I kind of just got swept along with it, whereas I'd like to, I'd like 2014 to be 
less busy. I want to make more YouTube videos. Was the thing. So it's like whilst 2013 has been very fun and crazy and cool and good for me, I just I I want 2014 to be <laughs> less eventful. I just want to make more YouTube videos. I just want to stay inside, be antisocial, and make a video every week. That's all I want. Uh, is your room still a mess? Pretty much. Uh, a lot of people were like, oh, Dan's room wasn't like that. He obviously messed up the video, uh, messed up the room just for the video. It's like no, I might have. So, I mean, obviously, I arranged the mess so that it was just out of shot for when I zoomed out, but uh, all of that stuff was on the floor before I made that video. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was uh, that was that was not faked. That is literally the floor of my bedroom, which is mostly still there. I'm gonna see this. What's your MacBook sound? Uh, my MacBook like broke the other day, and I had to reinstall the operating system. So. Unfortunately, my reggae air horn sound is now gone, and I'm back to the normal, back to the normal Mac sounds. It seems. How long will you be doing YouTube for? Uh, until you, you, Google gets deleted or I have a mental breakdown. Whichever one of those comes first. Probs. Shout out to the person that just said boob into the chat. That's exciting. Was there anything else that I that we that we've missed in our little catch up before before we see each other in a few days when I upload my video or next Tuesday when we have our next thing? Oh, okay. I made a video where I filmed like the first hour of me playing Pokemon. I know a lot of you guys really do not give the slightest crap about Pokemon, but would some of you out there want me to upload a video of me playing Pokemon to YouTube? <laughs> I kind of take the piss out of it in a funny way because I love it, but um, I, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I accidentally filmed the first hour of me playing Pokemon. I could do that. Okay, uh, I might edit that tonight then. And so, well, check me out. Multiple videos. OMFG. Uh, yeah. I think I, I started off a bit hyper, which is annoying, but then I slowed down. Yeah, uh, sure. Okay, I'll whack that on down. It's not interesting at some point. Do, 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 do. Are you going to see Catching Fire? Yes, I actually want to read Catching Fire before I go see it. I'm going to see Gravity next Monday, freaking out, because that's going to be awesome. What are your views on the Fly's new song? Haven't heard it yet. What are your thoughts on One Direction's new music video? I really like the, I, I really like, uh, the, new, I, I like the song, One Direction's new song. Story of my life. No, I like it. It's a. I want to know who wrote it. It's good. And the video. I mean, I couldn't not laugh. I'm so, like a lot of One Direction fans are going to take this very seriously, but I couldn't not laugh when it cut to Niall with his hair all flatted down in his house. I mean, whenever the video cut to Niall, uh, I kind of laughed. But yeah, no, I like the video. So that's cool. B -b 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 and a lot of people said they were crying at the video. Yep, I know. Doo -doo -doo. For the Dark World, it was good. Dance Not Fire, really. What colour pavilion will you get? The UK one. Have you seen Les Mis yet? Not in person. I want to. I DM'd Carrie about when I can get tickets to go see Les Mis. Exciting. Excited. My mum cried. Your mum cried watching a One Direction video. Awesome. <laughs> uh... Do 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 Mercury Awards. Happy for James Blake. No no. Uh, Dan, are you doing November? No, I'm not. I'm not going to do November until I'm like 25. Because I I, even though I'm in my 20s, I am biologically 19. I've always said to myself that I'm three years behind developmentally. So it's like my actual age is 22, but my biological age is 19. And my in my mental age is about forty five or something like that. So yeah, I, I have the body of a teenager. Uh, so when I'm when I'm about twenty nine, I'll probably have the body of a typical eighteen year old male, basically. Dan, you say that you have no social life. At least you're talking to people on the internet. I'm sat inside by myself watching people watch people on the internet. Could be worse, I'm guessing. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, right. 
my new video, I'm going to film it tomorrow, and I'm not going to say Friday, but I just did, but that's not a promise. Uh, so yeah, look forward to my new video. I'll edit my video of me playing Pokemon and just put it on my side channel if you guys want to watch that. And I will see you guys here next Tuesday. But until then, is, is there anything else you want to say before I depart? It was fun setting fire to my house with you and filling it with smoke that is just not going to go away anytime soon. That'll come to Quebec. Okay, Justine, that's cool. <laughs> right, say goodbye in French. Au revoir. Right, uh, okay. So to all the people that don't know what this is, because a lot of new people, all you have to do if you want to get involved this time next week is sign in with Facebook in the top right hand corner. So if you're listening to my voice passively right now and you're not involved in the chat, hello, talking to you. If you're not logged in and you want to get involved, it takes like five seconds. All you need to do is log in with Facebook in the top right hand corner and then click the fan button down there. So if you've not done that already or if you're just lurking on you now and you haven't yet, then just click the fan button please. And if you want to follow me on Twitter and keep up with what headers I'm uploading, <laughs> then you can click there. Or to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can click on the play button there. Cool. Okay, so, yeah, look forward to my new video. Uh, I'm going to try not to choke to death in this room, but it was really nice to see you. Awesome. Bye, guys. Ciao. Stay swaggy. And remember, don't do anything at home, because I'm a trained professional, and go join a convent. <laughs>